Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Crazy Craft 3 server on Apex Minecraft Hosting. Crazy Craft 3 is Minecraft basically reimagined. It has creepers ranging from 100 to 300 health. Every single vanilla normal Minecraft mod has been increased and bumped beyond belief. It's got stronger modded bosses. It's got a witchery boss that has over 5 thousand health there are custom youtuber hats found all around custom mob drops from every single mob and so so much more if you're looking to make minecraft more challenging and overall just a bit more fun crazy craft 3 is a great mod pack and luckily apex allows you to just play crazy craft with your friends without any problems whatsoever so let's go ahead and get crazy craft 3 set up on your apex minecraft server first things first we are starting out on apex minecraft hosting's home page as you can see apexminecrafthosting.com pretty simple there now up here in the top right they'll have this little panel icon see that panel up here in the top right click on that and it will take us off to the multi-craft panel now if you aren't logged in and it doesn't take you to this page you'll need to log in to multi-craft you can find your multi-craft login information in the email you were sent right after you purchased your server nevertheless let's go ahead and click on the minecraft head right here and then it will take us off to our list of servers I have a bunch of different servers set up here, so you probably won't have this. It'll probably just take you to the server that you have. However, I'm going to select the tutorial Minecraft server here. We're going to go ahead and stop the server, so that's important. Go ahead and stop your server, and then you can come down here where it says jar file. See that right here where it says jar file? And then click on whatever your jar file is. In my case, it's Agrarian Skies. For you, it could be anything. It could be Minecraft 1.13.2. It could be Crazy Craft. Whatever it says, just click on that. And then right here, we do want to search Crazy Craft. As you can see, there is Crazy Craft 3. Pretty simple. So go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to have to go through some warnings here, and I'm just going to warn you as well. This will override any existing mods, plugins, configs, anything else you have on your server in regards to mods. It will go ahead and override those. So if that's okay with you, go ahead and click change version. Now right here it's asking if you want to reset your world. This is something I would recommend doing if you're starting a new mod pack. However, you will lose any world that you have on your server. So if you don't want to do that, make sure you back it up before you go ahead and reset the world. So we're going to go ahead and click the green reset world button here and then we can go ahead and click OK. At this point Crazy Craft is installed. I'm going to go ahead and click this green save button at the bottom of the page. That will refresh the page and we'll see a different logo up here as well. There we go. As you can see now we've just got the Apex logo and we can go ahead and click start to start the server. That'll get Crazy Craft starting on up on the server but we need to go ahead and download the Crazy Craft launcher in order to actually play it on the server. To do that, you will need to check the description of this video. You will see a link to this right here. This is the voidswraith.com or the Voidswraith launcher, which does host Crazy Craft 3. Once you're here, you want to scroll down to where you see the download the launcher button. See that? It's this just little green download the launcher button there. Click on that and then it will take us off to the launcher here where we want to scroll down to where we can see this download for Windows or if you're on another platform, you can download it here, but we're on Windows. So we're going to click the download for Windows button. It will then go ahead and open up the launcher right here on Mozilla Firefox on Google Chrome. It'll be in the bottom left of your screen. As long as it says void launcher.zip, you're good to go ahead and click OK on Mozilla Firefox and click keep in the bottom left on Google Chrome. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, we do have the void Wraith launcher or the void launcher on our desktop. If this isn't on your desktop, it's in your downloads folder. Just click on the little Windows icon up here in the top right. In your case, it might be in the bottom left of your screen, but just click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen and type in downloads. Then you'll have this downloads folder here. Click on that downloads folder. You'll find the void launcher here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, you want to right click on it and then you want to just click extract all. See that? So right click and then click extract all and then click extract. It will then go ahead and extract the file here where we can then double click on the folder we have. This just basically open folder, not our zipped folder. We can actually delete the zipped folder if we want. However, we do have this open folder here and we can go ahead and double click on the void launcher.exe. It'll go ahead, download some stuff, do some things and launch up the void launcher for the very, very first time. If you do get this pop up, go ahead and click run. However, you most likely won't. That's just something where I'm recording that pops up. We get this cool little graphic there and the Void's Wraith launcher is open. However, we do need to go ahead and log in down here in the bottom left. This is going to be the login information that you use in the normal Minecraft launcher that you can get from Minecraft.net. So basically the same login information that you would log into Minecraft.net to change your username or skin is what you would enter down here to log into the Void's Wraith launcher. 
There we go, my login information is now entered. Now you would expect there to be like a login button or something like that, but there isn't. It's just there and that's where you need to leave it, is just leave that login information there. Don't mess with it and you'll be good to do. You can also click on this remember me button if you don't want to enter it every time, but that's up to you. Nevertheless, we do have this mod pack button right up here next to the Voyage Wrath logo. Go ahead and click on that. And then over here on the right, you will be able to scroll down until you find Crazy Craft 3. Last time I was in the launcher, it was down here at the bottom, and it is, as you can see, at the very, very bottom, Crazy Craft 3 there. Then go ahead and click on play. Now, it's going to go ahead and start downloading and getting everything set up for the mod packs. This is going to take a while. There are hundreds of mods in this mod pack, so go ahead, let it take a while, and I will see you once it's done downloading. There we go. After about 10 minutes, the mod pack did finish downloading, and here it is in the background. It is setting itself up and basically getting everything thing running now it will take a very long time to start up here as well right it's just like with everything with mod packs it takes a very long time to get them set up on the server as far as like downloading the files originally same thing here it's going to take a while to get everything up and running but once it does it'll be quicker each and every time so there we go the mod pack is now downloaded and it is opening just like with everything this will take a while to do when it comes to mod packs everything takes a while including launching for the first time every time you launch after this it'll be a little quicker um, also after we download the mod pack it actually popped up this like cool icon over here i don't think that was there before but nevertheless once you're here we can go ahead and show you how to add more ram to crazy craft now doing this while this is opening won't do anything but if you get in the game and you're lagging or anything like that most likely you need to add more ram and you can click the little config wheel up here in the top right of the launcher and then click on the options button there then in here you'll be able to see the minecraft options and memory size showing you let basically java decide how much memory it wants you can change that and up the memory values here as you can see max is 4000 and minimum is 512 i would leave the minimum the same but if you wanted them up it you could right there with the max. However, I'll just let Java decide. Nevertheless, if we click on Crazy Craft, you'll be able to see this. Every time you want to play Crazy Craft, just come over here and click play. Luckily, you only need to download it one time. But as we can see in the background here, this is almost done starting up. Actually, it might be starting up right now. There we go. We are now on the Crazy Craft main menu. Once you're on the Crazy Craft main menu here, we need to click on multiplayer, but we need to go back to Apex Minecraft hosting. So just click right up here on your browser come back over to the multicraft panel this is our server right here as you can see crazy craft 3 is installed on it we want to copy the ip address from right here you see this ip address just go ahead copy this entire ip address from right over here past the colon all the way back to the beginning come back over into crazy craft right here and then you can either add the server or direct connect either one is fine if you're adding the server just put your server ip address right here and then click done and now here it is as you can see we can go ahead and double click on the server it is online and it will log us right on into crazy craft on our apex minecraft hosting server if you do have any questions please let us know you can always contact with the bottom right hand corner little contact button here now as i said you might need to add more ram to crazy craft and typically when you see non responding that could mean what that means however here we are in game everything is looking swell um let's go ahead and just see here like kind of let it lag out for a second you will have some lag when you first join into any sorts of server there we go and see that there are youtubers everywhere i'm gonna get inside real quick and um make sure we don't die at night because everything in this mod pack is absolutely buffed it's just absolutely crazy all right there we go so let's get into our our little hut here all right so yeah you are now in crazy craft and the overall goal in crazy craft is pretty simple survive by any means necessary survive we do have a let's play of crazy craft in the description down below if you uh want to get more information on playing or see how some awesome youtubers play the crazy craft mod pack but thank you so much for watching